This is for the intestinal absorption lab, and you'll be using the intestinal absorption lab sheet. Looks something like this. So, after the chemical breakdown of the food in the stomach and small intestine has been accomplished, absorption still must occur for the needed nutrients to reach the cells. Absorption is the passage of substances through the intestinal mucosa into the blood or lymph. The body cannot absorb proteins, starches, and fats without their first being broken down into their component parts, amino acids, monosaccharides, and fatty acids. The majority of nutrient absorption occurs in the small intestine. In this activity, you will use dialysis tubing, a semi-permeable membrane to simulate the intestinal tract and model its permeability. You will again use iodine, potassium iodide to check the presence of starch. Additionally, you will use Benedict's reagent to test for the presence of monosaccharides. Benedict's reagent forms a red-orange precipitate when sugars are present. As such, the solution can appear in a range from blue, if no sugar is present, to green, yellow, orange, or red, if a large amount of sugar is present. So, the idea here being that we are, we're going to demonstrate that um, the intestines are semi-permeable and things have to be broken down before they can be absorbed. So we have our pretend intestine here. Um, this is a piece of dialysis tubing and I've tied a knot on one end. The other end is open and what I'm going to do, let me soak it in the water for just a little bit more. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put starch, let me mix this, I'm going to put starch mixture inside the tube. maybe about two mils worth. And I'm also going to put glucose in. So that's this container. And we're going to see which one crosses through the bag. And I've got this container filled with water. And we're going to see which one of the molecules actually leaves the bag and enters into the water where it's a lower concentration. And you guys know that molecules move from high to low. I'm actually going to put a clip on this. Because I use such a small piece of um, dialysis tubing. Probably probably a little bit too short, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I'm going to rinse it off in the sink. I don't want anything that is supposed to be on the inside accidentally um, on the outside of the bag. So it's just going to hang out in here in the bottom of the container for about a half hour and then we're going to test for the presence of starch and glucose in the water on the outside of the bag to see if anything left.